This video will show how to turn on the electron gun, set the beam voltage to 2 kV, and set the target current to 300 nanoamps. Step 1, turn on the micro CMA controller. Wait a couple seconds for Windows to find it. Open CMAP program. You notice we did not get the error message. So the electron gun uh, control is talking with the software. Let's open up the electron gun uh, icon. It says we want to warm up the filament. We'll say yes. Okay, the filament's going to start ramping up, so we'll pause this video and we'll come back after it's warmed up. That the warm up time is finished, we can see that the electron gun dialog box opens up, filament is on, beam voltage is off. So, what we'll do next is I will go ahead and open up Actual software, which will allow us to measure the target current. And uh, what I can do is I will go ahead and start sampling. Before I do that, I'll mention that the input is set to grounded and the bias is set to on. The bias on, there's an internal 90 volt bias, which helps to reduce secondary electrons, which gives you a more accurate uh, beam current when you're measuring the target current. And the uh, input grounded will ground the, the specimen automatically when not measuring target current. So let's go ahead and start sampling. I mean, we should really have no current because we have no, no beam voltage. I will minimize the display. By the way, we have another complete video on uh, operating the 9103. So I'd recommend that you watch that. I'll give you the link later. Okay, let's go ahead and turn our beam voltage up to 2 kV. And now we can see a couple of things. Is we have target current and we have emission current. And so what I can do is I can increase, this is coarse adjustment here, here's fine adjustment for the filament current. I'll bump that up a little bit because our goal is to set this to about 300 nanoamps of current. So I'll raise that up a little bit, let that stabilize. Let's check how close this wane out voltage is to the optimum value. The way you do that is you increase or decrease the wane out voltage while you're monitoring the target current. And what we should see is, as you can see, the target current is increasing and the emission current is actually coming down a little bit. And we'll increase this wane out voltage until the current peaks out. I'm a little bit above the uh, 300 nanoamps that we're shooting for, so I'm going to go ahead and reduce the filament current. So I'm underneath that value. Okay, let's keep increasing the wane out voltage. I'm tipping it up. See, now it's starting to come down. So I'll drop it down just a little bit. And that's pretty close to the maximum right there. So I will go ahead and hit the set point button for the emission. And what that does is it sets the correct uh, voltage for 2 kV so that the wind out gives us the optimum uh, filament current. Optimum filament current uh, and wind out voltage correspond to the minimum emission voltage for the maximum target current. So uh, the, the, the way it works is that the field on the wane out lens will push in and force the electrons to come only from the tip of the filament. And that's where you want to run. You want to get the smallest possible spot size off the filament. Now I will increase the filament current just a little bit more. Okay. Put down a tad. That's pretty close. And I'll hit set point. And that says yes. So now what I've done is we've turned on the beam to 2 kV filament is on after our warm-up time and uh, we have about three microamps of emission current which corresponds to about 300 nanoamps of target current that's going to change from filament to filament but it, it's usually in that range and we've also optimized the wane out voltage so this is all set up correctly now for operating the electron gun at 2 kV